Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Jonathan again, DJ Puff, in the kitchen again, and I had some oak apples. Now what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to make some oak apple ink. I've already crushed the, the oak apples already, and it's basically a, a gall wasp that has um, used very young oak tree to basically give it youngsters a home and the parasitic has created a round gall g-a-double-l -L. so i've ground it all up i don't have a pestle and mortar and you don't have to use a glass bowl and the butt of a hammer <laughs> And apparently you have to add it to iron and the chemicals in the gall and the iron create the ink. So we've got to put it in. This is basically a pony shoe or maybe one of them iron toe caps or heel. I'm not particularly sure actually. But I've added it and then it's just a case of adding warm water. I tried not to boil it too much. Yeah, and have to leave it for a couple of days and try and get the solid out of it. And the iron and the oak apple, some kind of chemical reaction, and hopefully we'll have ink at the end. And I can put it in one of my old ink wells that I found at Red Robin Bottle Tip. And I'm also hoping to use this to stain paper as well if I do any letters or messages and want to age them. Get that and mix up. Get the iron in there. Also, I did try the trick of putting iron nails inside treacle. I had three nails, which were um, Smithy made, handmade, and two of them didn't really come up brilliantly or not quite yet but one of them it, it really was cleaned up so thanks for again for billy for that because he gave the idea of using molasses or treacle to get rid of rust and it did work on one of the nails it's right down to the metal now so hopefully in a couple of days we'll do another video and we should have some oak apple ink Hope you can do it too if you find some galls from the oaks. You may be able to make some yourself. So until then, bye for now.